Russia may arm Houthis with high-precision missiles. Threat to US and Europe in Red Sea increases. Russia could transfer long-range missiles to several of its allies, according to a new map produced by Russian state media, after NATO countries donated long-range missiles to Kyiv and authorized some Ukrainian strikes within Russian territory, according to Newsweek. Moscow could start supplying the same high-precision long-range missiles, except they'll be of better quality since they're Russian. To those nations that are ready to strike our enemies, Russian state media host Olga Skabayeva said in remarks translated by the Russian Media Monitor Project run by journalist Julia Davis. Late last month, President Joe Biden greenlit Ukrainian strikes on Russian soil with some US donated weapons to help Kiev fend off Moscow's weeks-long offensive in the northeastern Kharkiv region. Several leading NATO nations, including France and Germany, had signaled their permission for Ukraine to use weapons they provide to strike some targets inside Russia. Russia had vocally condemned the move, calling it an escalation of the conflict. Highlighting several countries on a map, Skabayeva suggested Moscow could send missiles to Houthi rebels in Yemen and weapons to several other nations. We are thinking about where our missiles could go, into which friendly jurisdictions, said state media host Evgeny Popov. Earlier this month, Russian President Vladimir Putin said the Kremlin would consider sending Russian-made weapons to other countries in retaliation for the Western nation's move. If they consider it possible to deliver such weapons to the combat zone to launch strikes on our territory and create problems for us, why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same type to some regions of the world where they can be used to launch strikes on sensitive facilities of the countries that do it to Russia? Putin said during the country's annual St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Now let the US and its allies feel the direct impact of the use of Russian weapons by third parties. Former Russian president and current deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council Dmitry Medvedev then said, This could be anyone who considers Yankee land as their enemy regardless of their political beliefs or international recognition. He added, Cool, so true, cool, so true.